So it says, you are a leader. Others soon will need your inspiration. <laughs> there's this idea of being a lighthouse versus a tugboat. And you were talking about being a tugboat. And there's a reason, there's a reason why tugboat engines burn out very, very quickly. But man, I've been so intrigued by this concept of being a lighthouse, especially when you talk about under the umbrella of truth and just shining. And it's not the lighthouse's job to decide whether each individual boat follows this direction. It's just the lighthouse's job to sit there and shine. I gave this speech uh, and it's on leading by example. Uh, don't talk about it, be about it. And that's one thing that is probably the the most defining characteristic of myself as far as when it comes to being a leader is just purely leading by example. Example is not the main thing in influencing others, it's the only thing. That's what I want to do is take people on a journey to where I'm going. And when I say take people, I literally mean take people, take people. Enable people to level up as I level up. And as I level up, and as I level up, and as I level up, bring people along the way. And you see lighthouses, they're there for hundreds of years. People freaking go and visit lighthouses and take pictures of them, and they're there forever. But when you really try to start embodying what does that mean for me to be a lighthouse in my industry, in my home, in my community, um, what does that actually look like? And again, starting with vulnerability but then leading by example and all those different things that come with, with being a, really a leader, that concept of the difference between the lighthouse, because you can try all day. This guy looks like he needs, he needs help. I'm gonna go help him. I'm gonna go help her. I'm gonna go help him. I'm gonna go help her. And all you'll end up doing at the end of the day is exhausting yourself. But just by being able to stand and provide an example for others, to me, is the way I wanna try to live you know, my life, uh, but basing that in truth. And by expressing that vulnerability, expressing those truths that are uncomfortable, uh, and giving other people the audacity to do the same thing. And those other people, just through the law of attraction, like they'll come to you, you don't have to go grab them. Like those right people, like those 23, 24 year olds that need it. When you're setting that example and you're putting your stuff out there, they'll come to you, you know, they're coming to you. And then you know, okay, this is one that's worth spending all my time with because our time is so freaking valuable, um, most, most valuable. Um, that to me, I think, has been the biggest breakthrough I've seen over the last few months just through the law of attraction by just embodying truth from that lighthouse perspective and seeing the relationships that have popped up just like out of nowhere. Um, I say out of nowhere, but when it happens, you're like, huh, that, that, that makes sense, like that checks out. Um, but to me, it's just super important. What I knew from my own personal experience, those first two years when I went from being absolutely broke to 300 in income to close to 450, that I was on a path where I would have burnt everything else around me to the ground. I was having the success, but it was at the detriment of my family. I was having the success, but it was at the detriment of my health. I was working 16, 18, sometimes 20 hours a day. What we wanted to create a system was where people could go out and make 100 to $250,000 a year, but working 25 to 40 hours a week, having time to spend with their families, having time to create their best body, to create their best mind, to put all their priorities in the right place, to make sure that you never burn everything to the ground just trying to be quote unquote successful. That's what we created here.